Sure. Tough week, man. Rest in peace to the neighborhood, man. You know what I mean? Man, fuck the niggas who did the shooting after that. Listen, man. Too. Nah, nah, I'm cool with the 60 for 60, man. Y'all neighborhood niggas. It's not cool, man. You it's niggas not. do what you need to do for 60 days. I got, who am I to pass judgment on your tradition and what you're supposed it's to mean. uplift the community, and it's all about you. But sometimes you gotta cleanse the community. Purge. Oh, it's a purge? Purge. I don't have a problem with that. Um, just just can't I, hit no innocent advice. Nah, hit who you looking for. Um, I just have a problem with uh, my man getting killed by a rat, bro. That's just the that's just the fucking most dangerous nigga in the world is a gangster rat, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, he gonna he gonna shoot it's you. Like, it's like the, it's go like, to jail and then rat on you and <laughs> <laughs> get out. This shit be crazy, like before you gangster rat, nigga. Like he's so like he's so crafty. <laughs> I'm saying crafty. Like I'm gonna shoot you, but then if I get locked up, I'm gonna rat on you. And then you go, no, I'm a rat, but it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah, man, I hate them type of niggas, bro. Yeah, rest in peace in that, man. Yeah. Let's get started. Don't show me. Oh, Aerospace bad. engineering no, major. <laughs> She's like dancing and shit. No, no. Let's see how nice she No, 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 no. Oh, she got. No. Oh, no. No. Cool. You want me to run? No. 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 You gotta watch it, man. No, that's his dad, bro. Let's see how nice she flies right here. No. 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 Yeah. You didn't watch it. I know. You got to know what you're about. It's bad. Oh, God. Looks like that. You gonna watch it this time, man? No. Look, no, 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 no. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. Yo, the fucking commentator was like, ooh. Yeah, she she did like the Paul George, but with like. No, bro. Legs. I can't be laughing at people pain like that. You're not that, supposed man. to laugh. You were supposed I to say, oh, shucks, that's so bad. I got morals, bro. Chill. When? I got high Between morals. last episode and this episode? Yeah, man. Like, you know, I don't say <laughs> and <laughs> anymore. You just said it. Oh man, my bad. You told you told me earlier when you said you parked at the parking lot. Mm-mm. What did you say earlier? I said I'm parked in the parking lot. All right, I said it. <laughs> I'm not. Nah, I can't laugh at her. That's fucked up. I hope she heal and can compete next year. But that shit's bad, bro. Yeah, it's sad. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> you ruined it, man. All right, so we back. Yeah, we are. With the creator and some of the cast of the Pro TV series. Pro. So intro- yeah. introduce yourself. What's going on, Tazerac? You know. You said Tazerac. <laughs> <laughs> or Taz the writer. Taz. Taz the writer. T- the writer. Underscore the writer. Oh, okay. You right. Okay. The writer. You the one that could hear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm Cody and Carter. I play Brown. Okay. Charles Harris. I play you know KB. Who fuck you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did he get shot? I just want to. Hey. Okay. Yo, why you trying to wish death on him? Then he's breaking the way of him. He get knocked out. Damn. Yeah. Shit, I'm these questions know. I want to know. How you know? And if you didn't get into that in this episode, can we get it? Can we get knocked out? I'm just saying, it's all the extras filled up. Like I, I just want to be on the show. No, that's it. That's it. We got you. Where's the ball? Can I throw somebody off a bridge? That's all he wants to do. Give it a break, friend. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Okay. Can I rob the Chinese store? Oh, man. You can't even the crowns, man. All right. <laughs> so tell us about this, uh, the pro. The pro. The pro. All right. <clears throat> wow. The pro. The pro, right? It's basically the Philly version of Wire. Okay. All right. Power next. Um, and this one from the back not be Ghost though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. it, um, the Pro is an episode of television drama, okay. you know, that deals with um corruptions, interrelated corruptions, and investigations surrounding law enforcement, mm-hmm. the judicial system, mm-hmm. politicians. Um, and urban drugs in the Philly. Okay. 
Um, there's always somebody pro with somebody. You got IAD watching the dirty cop, the dirty cop watching mm -hmm. the drug the tape boys watching the drug dealers, the mm -hmm. feds watching the politicians, and watching everybody. So everybody, this is a show where even the watchers are being watched. The feds is being watched. So, you know, it's the strippers and prostitutes watching people as well. They watching, they watching people fight. It. Can I be watched <laughs> by the strippers and prostitutes? Absolutely. You want to watch strippers and prostitutes? <laughs> ride the Chinese story and throw No, I wanted through. to be watched by strippers and prostitutes. Oh, gotcha. They're watching you ride the Chinese story? You want to throw people in the Yeah, yeah. yeah this, I mean, it's this, show, this show here is something special, something different. You know, mm -hmm. um, as everybody knows. Uh, Philadelphia doesn't have um, a television show, never had a television show. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was incumbent upon me to go ahead and, you know, put the, put the city on my back you yeah. know, and come up with something creative. Okay. You know, um, and I did it during my incarceration while I was away. Okay. You know so, um, so I you saw, were being watched and it inspired you. Yeah. <laughs> Make a show about You've it. been watched and probed. Yes. Ah. Yes. So now I'm watching everybody. And probing. And probing. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's been a lot of corruption going on in the city, you know, mm -hmm. and it's been going on before. Like everybody just seeing what's, what's going on with me and all that, that's been going on. Mm -hmm. I'm a victim of that, you know, and, and the stuff old brother is probably a victim of that. Um, it's just that, you know, he's a celebrity and he's been able to shed light on it. You know, but they don't listen to us. If you don't have that, you know, that type mm -hmm. of power of people behind you. Get out of here. Yeah. Out of here. You know, but being though he had, we had money, he was able to get out of here, and that was a great thing. Mm -hmm. He had to go get billionaires. <laughs> yeah. He ain't pulled out millionaires, he pulled out billionaires. Pulled out billionaires, and then now they like, you know, they won't go away. <laughs> you got Robert Kraft, Kevin Hart, and, and you got, uh, uh, um, not Jeffrey Lurie, um, Michael Rubin coming on the, 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 the pod of Chester. How you, you can't even, first of all, you gotta come on, you can get Kraft to come on a visit on How you get on the block? Yeah, the sad part. They came was, on the block and got him. But the sad part though is Robert Kraft didn't get caught for nothing until he started hanging around with me. Listen, now they got the process. Oh, you want to start helping people out with <laughs> prison reform? Huh? Yeah, what about all, the prostitutes? That's what I'm saying, man. They would start watching them, man. As soon as he tried to dance with Cardi B, now all of a sudden you get hand jobs in the, <laughs> the massage parlor. Yeah, man, it's going, it's going bad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, somebody's always been with us. Mm -hmm. Even the greats. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I seen an issue in the morning I ran with it. You know, but it was just about um, bringing some epic to the city, you know, um, and raising the value of um, the film production and the value of um, the film industry because a lot of people that's in position not really giving back like they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you got a lot of inspiring filmmakers, a lot of inspiring actors, actresses, like, um, give, give, give somebody a shot, give somebody an opportunity, somebody gave you an opportunity, mm -hmm. somebody gave you an opportunity, somebody gave you the opportunity, Master P, 50 Cent, and I'm mean, you, like, we know the stories, somebody gave somebody an opportunity, don't get in and close the door, you forgot yeah. somebody gave you an opportunity, mm -hmm. you gotta go ahead and pay it forward, true, or you, you, know, or you just start creating opportunities, like you just did, and that would, that's crazy, like you read my mind. That mm -hmm. was my whole um, vision and objective to go ahead and create opportunities for um, individuals, for up and coming actors, for actors, you know, like Cody, for, for guys like Joe mm -hmm. that's been doing anything, been killing it, yeah. you know. And these guys haven't really been getting any recognition. They dope at times. It's because um, the lack of um, film um, projects and yeah. the lack of um, people just want to put people on. Yeah. You know, so. My thing was just to create opportunity for everybody and let everybody shine and get an opportunity to, to get to that grand level. That's good shit. That's good shit. shit. So Cody, who you play on the show? Uh, I play Ra, one of the one of the block lieutenants under uh, under Stacks and Boo. Okay. I make sure everything running smooth, you know. Okay. And how far is that character from your life experiences? Uh it, it's definitely a, a big stretch. I feel like you know, it's night and day. Oh, night and day. You sure. try to have him rap on himself. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, I was doing that shit every day. I gave him the opportunity to say that this has stretched his acting abilities oh, yeah, because this is far from him. See, you be dick riding too much. That's the problem. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, bro. Oh, yeah, it's definitely night and day. I, I, I never, you know, ran no blocks, none of that. So, Good it answer. definitely uh, has nothing to do with my life. So That's a great all answer. Act, all act. 
And what about and who? What role you play? And don't start telling me you speak your Spanish. And you know, you know, no, well, I play uh, KB. Uh, we in the same crew. Me and uh, Rel. We both lieutenants. We got our own little clique. In a nutshell, we basically the next dudes up to run stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So our overseers, they run it. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they the ones. Let me let me pull up to the private jet in a Maybach. We the ones. Let's go to Vanity, pop fifty bottles. Let's chill with the chicks. You know what I'm saying? So, but we, that's basically what it is. We we up and coming. All right. Okay. Now, do you yeah. does your role <clears throat> mimic your personal? Uh, life? Not, not at all. At the end of the day, I'm an actor. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, as far as the the hustling, non drug or paraphernalia, yes, I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying? Any type of work that I do. And that's what KB is, it's just in another light, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, in another world, but he's still a hustler, mm -hmm. same mentality. So which one of y'all getting the most bitches on this? I mean, I would, I would say me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I tried to be modest, you yeah. hear? Neither one of us yet. yet. Neither one of us yet. <laughs> one of we, don't, we don't know. Like, we don't know. You <laughs> No, but he can have all that. I'm all about the money. Okay. Yeah, I'm about the money. All right. So, so what's the so what's the goal when so what's the goal with pro like? Are you looking to get this on like Netflix or something like that, or is this like going on like one of those Amazon Prime type uh series? Nah, Amazon Prime shit like the plug love shit. All that should be dope, mm -hmm. bro. You know what I mean? Like, are you doing something like that or um, you know what? I don't say first of all no to Amazon Prime because Amazon Prime. They don't give you no, no bag up front. Okay. Everything on the bag. And that's the only, business wise. It's not a good look. Okay. You can't eat. Okay. You know, um, you need about a million streams just to get a thousand dollars. Okay. <clears throat> but um no to them, but it's going it's going to the network. Um BT men had not to ask what we shot with okay. um, I had a meeting with them about four or five months ago <clears throat> down in LA and um they love that. That was just off the script. You know. Oh, you got that? You know, so it's just like, um, they've been at it. Um, there's a couple other networks, so I'm not really at nobody then. <laughs> they tell me, keep keep a zip on it. You know what I'm saying? That, um, MTV and everybody but that's just, that's something different. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, that's a different. Yeah. It's not for that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I got some of for them, but, um, we got a lot of, um, networks right now interested. A lot. Okay. So right now, um, like I said, we shot it. We just waiting, you know, waiting for the edit, the trailers and everything now. Let me get edited. Which will be the next couple of weeks, and it's gonna be a frenzy. Like yeah. We're about to eat the summer. Could we get like an express copy of it so I can watch it? <laughs> yeah, like if you know what I mean, some bullshit. I'm gonna call it. Like, me, no, he, no, he did this thing like real rap. Like yeah. he killed it. Mm -hmm. He killed it. Everybody on here. One thing I can say: every actor that came to to to, to work came to work. Like mm -hmm. they showed up and worked and knocked out no plan or nothing no and I, <clears throat> I was surprised, you know, because this is this is my first production. Mm -hmm. Like I've written over, I have ten movies done, fifteen reality shows, like I got a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But in going into production, this is my first independent production, and my thing was to do it on the grand scale. We don't do it at all. Yeah. So I wasn't even gonna play with it. So um, everybody that that's a part of the pool and that acted, they killed everybody. Yeah. You know, they, they you know they knew their lines. Yeah. They didn't. They, they came to work. Um, <clears throat> I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed, you know, with the, um, the outcome of what yeah. I'm seeing so far with these guys. I mean, That's a good show. So how many seasons of the pro are you trying to do? Five. Five seasons? Yeah. I got to scout with them for five right now. Who died there? Oh, we can't say that. All right. I just was trying. I just was trying. I just was trying. It's going to be a few. It's going to be a lot of twists and turns. Um, it's going to be something you never saw before, you know, because nobody never captured it. So the period mm -hmm. the way that, that Philadelphia's being captured, um, is gonna make the, the air and back of people next thing up, period. Like because what it is is it's the underworld is yeah. the corporate world. Uh, so we we're talking about the crooked judges, yeah. the crooked lords, the crooked DAs that's taking money, that's doing it. Uh 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 not so fast. You think it's all about the underworld? No. We're going to the corporate world. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we're gonna spotlight on everybody. So that just means you're not shooting no footage in the greater northeast. Everywhere. Everywhere. What's integrated with these? Everywhere. Nothing. Where's <laughs> <is> mine? <laughs> we need to be out there? Huh? Is it the word? We need to be out there? No, fuck 
Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, we're just saying there's no oh, coming there. Yeah. Okay. It's not only unless you need, like, quiet desert land in the supermarket. You need to go out there. Yeah, we're going to be we going to be in everywhere. Southwest, uh, west, mm-hmm. north, know, yeah. uptown, wherever. You know what I'm saying? It's it. So it's going to be <clears throat> everywhere um, in the city. Um, but you said this is your first uh, production. Mm-hmm. Um, how did you get from writing scripts to actually getting into the production part and actually mm-hmm. turning your vision into a piece of art? Wow. Um, just doing my own work, you know, getting with the right people. My thing was... Um, <clears throat> my thing was to, um, to 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 bring it to life how I wanted to bring it to life. My thing was the first first thing to do was to, to get with the right actors. You know, to find the right actors that can fit these characters. Yeah. You know, um, you know, of course, with the casting pro- um, process, you know, you're not always, always going to keep the same actors. But I wanted to try to get it to a T. Get with the right director. Number one, definitely got to get with the right director because you need to shot. You know, a certain way. Um, the right producers. The right um, cast and the right, just the right cast, period, just the right crew. Um, once I got with them, <clears throat> we all just sat down, you know, put the put the put the storyboard out of the vision board and just, you know, start scheduling. And that's pretty much what it was. We held two casts. Um, one was January the nineteenth. <clears throat> People came from all the way from um, who was it? Uh, Alabama. <laughs> yeah, Alabama. I'm like, what? I said, show me into my home real Alabama. No, you're not. Show me <laughs> and show me that you came from Alabama. Right. Alabama, um, Vegas. DC, Vegas, Atlanta, Boston. People drove seven hours, say seven hours. <laughs> yeah, back yeah, the whole, the whole, uh, so bus. We had two castings with that, so um pretty much to answer your question, um sitting down storm more getting the right people, you know. And so as a writer, who like what I guess directors and movie writers have been like your inspiration. Mm-hmm. There we go. All of this. <coughs> like all y'all, like who's been y'all inspirations that y'all that uh you know um give me with me with me, first and foremost that that you know that inspired me the most, that really put me on overdrive. You know, I always looked up to Spike Lee, guys mm-hmm. like that, but I think it had to be Tyler. On, a, on, on, a, on a, uh, the note of the volume, what he had. Mm-hmm. He's coming with all those movies, he's coming with Meet the Browns, House of Pain. Like every day he kept coming. I'm like, he went to TBS with, with like 15 episodes, but he had 100 in the cut. They gave him 200 million. I said, whoa. I saw that and I looked at the deal. They gave him 200 million. TBS gave him 200 million for House of Pain. Mm. So I'm like, damn. <clears throat> That's what made me want to write my volume up. Mm-hmm. But I studied the Greeks. I studied. Um, the Shonda Rhimes. I studied Courtney Kemp's, mm-hmm. um, the Lee Daniels, um, the Ava DuVernay's, um, the Mary Brocker Kills. Everybody that's killing it, I know about them. Um, uh, what's her name? Lena Wraith? That's her name? Lena Wraith? That, that did yeah, the shot? Wraith. Yeah. Wraith. Yeah, Wraith. Yeah, did the shot. Wraith? Yeah. Okay, Wraith. I know. Okay. I've been studying her. She did the shot. She's killing it. So mm-hmm. those are the individuals that I study. And um, in my competition. They gotta see me. Oh man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotta That's lean back with it too. They gotta see me. <laughs> what, about, what about you, Cody? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really eclectic when it comes to inspiration because I find like inspiration in other everybody, not just you know black actors. Uh, Meryl Streep, Johnny Depp. Meryl Streep? Yeah. Solid. One Sounds of one of my dope. one of my favorite actors really is uh, Bradley Cooper, just because mm-hmm. his versatility. Um, every every movie you watch with him, he's different, and that's one of the people I look up to. Um, of course, I, I grew up in Will, uh, watching Fresh Prince as a kid. That's what really one of the, I used to reenact a lot of his stuff when I was little. So him, of course, uh, Martin Lawrence um, on the business side, like Kevin Hart, like how he branded himself. Um, so I just take bits and pieces out of everybody, and you know, just try to find my own little little niche, mm-hmm. you know. So. So when you were react, uh, reenacting Will Smith, did you do the one where uh, he found out his dad did, wasn't coming back and he broke down and started crying? I want to do that. That's crazy. Me and him was talking about that. Mm-hmm. Me and him was talking about that. You got to do that, man. Yeah, I want to do that. Don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was powerful. I was powerful. Even when I saw that shit, I was powerful. I'm like, look at the power. You're like, I was that shit ass. Get the fuck out. I mean, no, that, oh, that was supposed to be powerful, man. That yeah, was a no. moment. You want to know what was powerful in that show? 
when Uncle Phil was about to beat old boy up for talking crazy about Will. <laughs> that was powerful to me. And not so much the fighter, but the advocacy from an uncle that's not even really like your blood, but he's embraced you as his son. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? There always got to be some balance when it comes in. <laughs> <laughs> like advocacy. It didn't even, they didn't even fight. It was the fact that he was on he was, he was a judge <laughs> was prepared to throw it all away because you disrespect his nephew. Anyway, yeah, inspiration. Uh, well, pretty much, I don't have you know a single person. No, 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 right. I don't have a single person. Like I said, like like Cody said, I take a little bit from everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because you see different stuff in 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 different people. You feel what I'm saying? But what I mainly look up to are the directors that do give people chances, like the underdogs. Like he was saying, Tyler Perry. You see Tyler Perry, he gets the Starbucks workers. He put them in their play. And once they're in his play, now they're in three or four of his movies. You know what I'm saying? He keeps the circle tight, but he also welcomes different people in. So it's not like, oh, this is my crew. That's all I'm rocking with. Oh, no, nah, you want to nah, talk to my, my publicist. We'll get you on. No, nah, it's not that. He, he embraces you, especially if you have a talent. Another one, Benny Boom. He takes people off. You know what I'm saying? He, he rocks and takes people that... That has no name. That's not known in the industry. Mm -hmm. Got to play Tupac. He was working at. A, uh, don't quote me on that. I know it was like a store, like Walmart or somewhere mm -hmm. like that. He was working there. He had to look. They groomed him. Didn't know nothing about acting. They put him in acting classes. Mm -hmm. They did. They worked. It. They made who well, he you was. Know what? I'm about to say that, right? what? But still, we just we just we just talking about <laughs> dudes with power that's giving underdogs a chance. But do you see what he got from that? He got other, he got other movies, movie. but he got other movies. Okay, he, he's put on the map from there. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I saw the I saw the screenings and I, I was like, I, I, I ain't gonna watch it. I see Tupac go to the gym. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you look at the great, you look at some of. Robert Townsend. Yeah. Robert Townsend. He puts his people on and keeps yeah. them on. Adam Sandler. Yeah. You look at them, they all they, 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 they surround it around the same clip. Seth like, Green. This is another one. Mm -hmm. Uh the Wayne. Uh Keenan Ari Wayne. Yeah. Uh what's my man from Step Brothers? That whole that whole Will Farrell. Clip. That whole little clip. Yeah, exactly. So like I said, yeah. Yeah. see and that and goes back to what he said earlier. It we have a cup we have a couple of High, heavy hitters that made it out the city, mm -hmm. but and don't don't quote me, but it just seemed like y'all not doing enough for the underdogs as far as coming back. But then let me ask you a question though. In the words of my uh, in the, in the off the vibe of my man Nip, Nip said sometimes you gotta create your own way. No doubt, that's what we do. So and so that's what I'm saying. So I know the people not giving you a chance. Is your inspiration, mm -hmm. but then I just feel like for everybody that's watching this, because you know it's probably a, a seven-year-old kid that's gonna watch this show. They got no business watching this show, mm -hmm. and he's gonna see local people acting. And whether this works out for you the way you expected it to, or it don't, if this blows up the way it's looking, he's gonna be like, "Damn, you know they didn't go through the machine to do this." Right. You know what I mean? This is all grassroots. This is all from the muscle. You know what I mean? And then that will inspire him and then it's getting to the point where now you ain't looking for reality stars and rappers to be actors. It's motherfuckers that's really actors stepping up and being actors really writing movies. You know what I'm saying? But see, and but the thing, what, I, and what I'm gonna say off of that is, you're right, but what if that doesn't happen? You feel what I'm saying? We're producing good talent, we have good talent, mm -hmm. we have the platforms, what if we're just not getting seen? You feel what I'm saying? And it, it could be so much as a high-end brother from Philly that just like a post or repost a post. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, like, say if the Kevin Hart repost our trailer, the pro, mm -hmm. now we're on the map. Mm -hmm. Somewhat where everybody's like, damn, what, what's this? And who's this guy? He looked familiar. Where are you mm -hmm. from? Now you're checking for it. True. And now they're inquiring, like, oh, let me check him out. I might got something for him in my new, mm -hmm. my new project. Yeah. But we're not getting that. It's not more so, oh, I got a role for you. Mm -hmm. It can be a like, a repost, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or, yo, shout out to one of my cats from Philly, Tez the Rider. He got this dope project about to come out the pro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just something as small as that. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I agree with both of y'all, and I understand what you're saying. One thing I learned about Philadelphia, I love my city, but this is what I hate about it. 
Philly is not going to embrace it till you make it. Till you make it, yep. Yo, you, every yep. independent anybody <laughs> that's coming out of this <laughs> I don't care if I go to work. Independent comedian, independent, like, French rock flipper, whoever. They all came on the show and was like, yo, Philly don't fuck with you until you pop it. I said that. It's like, and, yeah, and, 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 and this is a prime example because before I even cast these guys, mm-hmm. you know, I went and got Clifton Powell. I went and got Trey Oh, Chelsea from fucking uh, uh, Society. Yeah, he's in part of the program. He's trying to get his ass with the news. He's trying to get his ass with the news. What you talking about? <laughs> this motherfucking wrestling. <laughs> you got your ass with the news. Yo, Chelsea, you better block you. My brain. No, so when I got, you know, <laughs> Clip the Pop. Mm-hmm. When I got Trey Chaney. You know, one and got Jenny Williams, one and got Jasmine Burke, one and got Gary Sturgis. Uh, Who's Jasmine got, Burke? Jasmine Burke, she's, um, she plays on um, Saints uh, Center. She was on, what's that? What's that, John? Uh, uh, damn, what's that, John? Family Hustle. No. Can Hustle. y'all get the, the young lady that was in like Streets and uh, oh, Nafisa Williams? That's her name? Yeah. yeah. It, 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 you know, it's, it's a lot. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? She's on Black Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> it's for Gus. She, she, <laughs> she's, a team play, she's a team player. She's a team player. She is? There's a lot of things. Ain't not feasible. Don't listen to me. Ain't not feasible. I don't want to be talking. I don't want to be talking. Yo, DJ. this is what I'm saying. This be the shit but that gets the stuff. He works to see it. Yo, she's a team player. Like, she right now, she'll come. She'll support. That's what I'm saying. Here's the thing. <laughs> but, listen. So, we got a lot of good. Um, Actors like what I did was I did little, something a little differently. If I would have came out and and led and led the prove out with guys like this, and no disrespect to taking nothing mm-hmm. from these guys, but they're up and coming mm-hmm. and they look at they're not taking it serious. Mm-hmm. It look like it's amateur, get out of here. But as soon as they see recognizable faces that people that Hollywood already embraced, it's like, oh my god, here it is. So now everybody got to be looking like, damn, he did that. So what I did was I went and got the big dogs and I came in. Came to school, my people was like Gilly, like he's a part of it. You know, we got one of those sparks. I went and got him. I went and got his cat 215. You know, mm. um, these these individuals. I have never, I have never seen her Instagram. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. Oh man, yeah, get on that job. <laughs> get on that job. I've never seen her shit either. I just heard about it. Yeah, get on that job. No, I can't. Yeah, but I went and came back and got, you know, yeah. these individuals. Um, because they 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 are all talented, they're very very talented, and um, this cat's very. They're influencers. They are they're influencers. Yeah. But you want to know you just heard right? Yeah, I heard. She's like <laughs> radio personality, right? Yeah, radio personality. And she, but here's the thing. This is what people don't know about her. She got a background in theater. Mm-hmm. She can act. Yep. I just mm-hmm. didn't pick her for nothing. She used to deal with Drake, right? She, she can act. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did y'all get this lot of booty from Philly? Uh-oh. You must have heard. Um, Hustle and motivate. I know. Mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen her like walking past. Yeah. Tattoo days. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 you're very dangerous. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. No, yeah, but no. um, for the most part, that's you know pretty much on. Um, that's my lookout, mm-hmm. you know, to get back to the city, get back to the culture. Um, people that's working, it's just not like, you know, come on, no, these guys are working, you know, mm-hmm. and, and, it's, and it's plenty of, there's plenty more of them, you know, and other actors that couldn't make it, you know, for whatever reason. Um, and will this show have a soundtrack? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Like, um, it's going to be stupid. Mm-hmm. You know, you got, you got a lot of dope artists, you got lights, cameras. Mm-hmm. He's an animal. Mm-hmm. People keep overlooking. I don't know why. You got uh, Suzanne, uh, Christine. Is it Suzanne, Christine? Christine, Suzanne? Mm-hmm. Christine, Suzanne? Yeah, Christine. I don't want to tell your name, but yeah, she, she's hot. Um, you got Moldery. He, oh, man, he's different. Mm-hmm. He, once, 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 once he put that hit up, he's gone. He's on the Jupiter. What's my, what's my man name that was on the show that's yeah. dope from Rizzy. South Philly? Uh, Young Ross. Young Ross. Young Ross. No, Rizzy Raw or something like that. I think that's his name. The singer war, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, uh, you just say? You good? Yeah, you dope as shit. I want all, that's what I'm looking for. All yeah. the dope music, sad yeah, Who the light like. skinned nigga who was on the show? Little pretty nigga. With the braids. Pause. Whatever. 
You see, I ain't never seen no shit like that. The pretty nigga. Who? Lee. Yeah. Lee Coleman. Him. Uh. You think I'm pretty nigga? Big goat though, what's her little sister? That's her right there. That's her Lee Mason hot too. Yeah, Lee Mason dope. Like, when, I know we had a couple of hot artists come through here, I think. Oh, yeah. Like, like, provide some good. good you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's gonna be, it, this is gonna be epic. It's gonna be something that's totally different, and I'm fanning on this. Yeah. Like, cause I mean, my man, my man with you, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm supporting 100% of the shit. Okay. Okay. We just yeah. wanna know, like. Oh, yeah, that's my guy. Okay. We just wanna know, like, after it blows up, like, are you still gonna come back? Like, when season three is made. Well, first of all, I'm gonna be in season two. So, <laughs> niggas lying to you. They probably lying. <laughs> <are. laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, we gonna put you on the screen. I'm sure love. <laughs> That's one. That's one. I mean, I'm just trying to get out. That's what I like about um, when that, you know, what I'm saying, mm-hmm. this was community. You know, um, how how we gonna go is written already. Like, mm-hmm. however, right, you go outside and get my car, like mm-hmm. anything, mm-hmm. slip it your head on the ground. So that's just what it is. I don't want to buy into all that, you know. Um, so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Like, I, you know, I'm gonna support my community, you know, to an extent. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, to an extent. So let me ask y'all something because. Uh, I know the goal, the goal right now is to just get on. You know what I'm saying? Not only <clears throat> get on, like look for a handout, but you know, get your workout, get recognized, start securing the bag. Right. But then you know, I think the uh, the conundrum that Nip was in is a conundrum that I think we all face, just as uh, you know, black men and you looking to be positive and get money and look out for your hood. But then the same token, you get so wealthy to the point where. Uh, you know, it become dangerous for you. You know, I will, you know, uh, I guess for y'all, like, what at what point are you not accessible to North Philly, West Philly, and Southwest Philly? Hmm. You want to do I can start. You know what I'm saying? You start. I mean, me personally, um, wow, that's a tough one. No, because that's a real question. You know, man. Like, it's, 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 it's so serious, like, you know, one thing about Philadelphia, like, dudes getting killed left and right, you know, we, I mean, you can look on the gun zone, people that got killed last night, all week, and it's sad for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Um, once you become, like, when you get them little elms, you, you got to, like, like, people always criticize Boston, like, you don't ever come back, you don't ever do this. Like, he get 20 million flick. I see why mm-hmm. he got to keep the pole out. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, I get to a certain point, I might have to, I gotta be a loser. Mm-hmm. It ain't that I'm scared. I ain't scared of nobody. Like you know, my thing is this: I'm, I'm out in the trenches. <coughs> it could be another way that one just mm-hmm. simple. I don't know how to, you know, when the situation played out, mm-hmm. how it looked like it was a nobody came out. Let me get you out of the way. It could be, you know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. it could be anything. Somebody with nothing to lose. Oh, he got everything. You see yeah. how make move? How you, how you, you got and you got your team around you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I think that. Once I hit that um, bracket, I'm gonna be moving a little different. I'm gonna be hands on, but mm-hmm. I'm gonna be moving a little different. I'm gonna be on high alert, you know, because I'm, I love my city, but at the same time, everybody don't love you, man. Right. Yeah. They just don't. Just, yeah. What about you, Cody? Yeah, I think he, I think he hit it on the head because at, at the end of the day, um, I, I, I saw a quote that was real. Um, they said for every, for every 10, 15 people that love you, it's one person that just can't stand you. Mm-hmm. No matter who you are, you know what I'm saying. For me, I got about ten of them. So right. Know. So <laughs> I don't like you. Man. So so it's like so it's like you could be at a meeting, you could be anywhere, mm-hmm. and it's just somebody that just wants you gone. You feel me? And you know, it, mm-hmm. it's like you we wanna you wanna reach out and touch the people, but it's somebody that just wants you out of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's like you gotta find that balance. So I, I think me personally, I would move real militant, like kind of like how we do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I got my day ones, the ones that I know I trust, the ones that have been there since the beginning. Mm-hmm. And I would just keep it just real just <coughs> like that goal. Because mm-hmm. I still want to reach out to the people because my ultimate goal is to build a platform so I can start the foundations and shit like that and give back to the at-risk youth. Because I was that kid at one point. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to be unrelatable, but I want to just keep it to a, you know, a, a degree. Like have like turkey drive, shit like that. But at secure facilities but not just be in the mix all the time like yeah. so i i i i, I, I won't be trying to enjoy those milk yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, and then as far as family goes, if they can't step up to my level, then I would have to lose touch with them as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just there's definitely things that come with the territory, and as, as I continue to grow, I would just address those things. But I'm definitely moving militant. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Just to piggyback off what they said, they they, they both hit it on the nose. It, it's just you know sometimes us, especially. When we come from the mud, you know what I'm saying? The heart of North Philly, heart of West Philly, stuff like that. We're brainwashed to be like, you know what? Can't nothing happen to me, you know what I'm saying? I do this, I'm still be out here for my people. Uh -huh. But like I said, you definitely have to move different, especially when you get in the M's. Mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to coming back, doing little drives and everything like that. But me, honestly, I'll probably, you know, probably leave here. You know what I'm saying? But that's not, that, that doesn't stop me from doing work here. You get what I'm saying? I'm all about being safe. Like I said, like I said, you 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 gonna get haters along with the people that that's for you, mm -hmm. and it could be just anybody. So you just have to cut all that stuff out. Whereas though, if I get in the M's, you're not gonna see me in Fat Tuesdays with a one eighty, a one ninety. You feel what I'm saying? Like you can't you can't do that anymore, especially when you're nationally known or seen, where people, anybody can pin you out. Because mm -hmm. all it takes is one phone call. Yo, guess 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 who here? The boy, the boy from the show. You know what I'm saying? And he out here. He he he. He's he, 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 he buying all these chicks tricks. You know what I'm saying? See him on the TV and see him on the Pro Bowl. See him on something he's in or something he's on. You know, screen. Well, he got the bag. He might be right. on residual. Right, he right. He might even got the bag, but he's on television and it look like that. They might look at me and say, "Damn, oh, this dude driving. This dude driving. Let's go get. Let's go square at the ring. We don't care what. And it's just like." That's all you it don't know my situation. You know if I got it, you know if I don't yeah, got it. But that's it's all it and people don't care. But it's yeah. like okay, so it's like and what's not even we're going to suicide. It's, it's, it's not even it's not even sometimes about the bag. It's about who I just knocked the hell out. Right. You see the ball? He making all that brown knocking the hell out. It's on TMZ, mm -hmm. world star. Just cause like I'm on a big platform, right. it's just yeah. it's, it's, it's clouchy just to say I did. You know what I'm saying? And you build your brand. Okay, he, he he's actor Charles Harris. Mm, he's I am Cody Carter. No, that's Tez mm -hmm. Red. Like I'm looking at a couple of my homies, right? And I'm like, what's up? He's like, oh, man, you Tez Red, and I'm looking. I'm like, yo, bro, like you you getting caught up in this shit? In right. my mind, I'm just, but I ain't seen that to him yet. Like a couple of times, he was, I'm like, come on, man, you Tez Red. I'm like, so and I'm looking like. So let me ask you this question though: <laughs> Do you think yeah. that um, sometimes just as uh, entertainers, period, like? Uh, we could be like a victim of our own platform. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you sure. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, and I know for me, like the, the the whole Nipsey thing, like uh I'm looking at Nipsey whole situation just like a lesson that the law just sent me. Like mm -hmm. almost like a book. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, read this, look at this. Right. The sign, you never seen signs. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, Nip built his platform on being Rolling 60 neighborhood crib mm -hmm. from Crenshaw and Slauson. First time you ever seen him on TV he was on Crenshaw and Slauson. And nah, that's not you seen, seen him on TV, mm -hmm. he was laid out <laughs> so you on Crenshaw and Slauson. Mm -hmm. And that's a platform that he built. <clears throat> and so like I like when we talking right now, I'm like, yo, you know, we building this from the muscle. We looking to get back, we looking to do this, we looking to do that. But sometimes even like with Nick, like the same people you reaching back for, the same, the same, same thing that hurt you. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Taking the chunk out of it. Yeah. yeah. And so are, are you willing to to compromise your platform for future safety? Or is that not a thought right now? Um, no, because like, yeah, got, I got, first of all, I gotta protect myself. Mm -hmm. I got family to, to, to look out for. Yeah. Like, that's when enough is enough, like, a certain extent. Like, yeah. like, when, like, you was, like, when you asked the question about how much is it, you know what I mean, yeah. enough. I'm gonna know, like, you know, because first of all, I'm from the streets. Like, me personally, I'm from the streets. Yeah. From the wreck. Yeah. I know instinct, I know street smarts, I know the, I know the jungle, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I know, like, I'm just moving in jail, so it's like, I can read stuff, I can read the blitz from, from a mile away, mm -hmm. I can smell it. You feel what I'm saying? If something ain't like it, just look, oh yeah. No, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, sometimes we off, but you go with your instincts and hopefully it leads you in the right direction. Yeah. Sometimes it's your judgment, it's a judgment call sometimes. Yeah. But it's best to just try to prepare yourself to, to put that type of um, installation around you. 
and, and be around your own kind and be around, you know, your people and stuff like that. And it's crazy, like, do, do, I just want to expound a little bit on, he was talking about Nick, um, I don't want really to get off the subject, but, yeah. um, like I was saying, um, I was saying earlier that, um, he was supposed to, um, have Nick a part of the boat, um, and that was just very unfortunate. Like I said, February 21st, he was supposed to come and, um, you know, and, um, film, but like I said, he had to go to Dallas, he had to show on the marathon tour, he had a show right before that he was in Vegas, like he was back and forth. This was, nobody knew. They didn't even know, nobody in the cast, they, nobody knew that we were, we were just waiting for him to go through the ink to dry, and it's just, now the creek as soon as he come off the plane, and boom, that's what we got. Yeah. And that's how he was pretty much rolling the, the, the actors out. Um, but, um, to answer your question, to get back on that, um, it's just a judgment call, man. Mm -hmm. you, I don't know, man. That, anything after that is just feet. It's, it's just the carpet, man. Yeah, yeah. Destiny, man. Mm -hmm. you, know? you just, you just gotta be careful because I, I got a little story. It's funny, like you never know who's watching you. For, for one, you might not know the individual. Like I said, especially as entertainers, when you have a page that's open, anybody can follow you. Mm -hmm. So you gotta watch. Like it was, a, it was a situation where somebody came on my live. And he wanted. It was a dude who came on my live. Yo, what's up, bro? Big bro, I see you doing good things. Yo, I seen you the other day walking that big ass dog. Like, damn. So, you know where I live. I don't even know who you are. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, that, that new truck, that new Escalade you got, that joint nice, bro. Like, you got the Escalade? Shut your mouth, man. But listen, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? So, it's that pearl money. Oh, you getting money? Listen, y'all. No, they ain't no legitimate. You know what they're saying? I'm just saying, that's, that's what they were stating. So, it's, it's like, that half you go outside, like, man, who, who watching me? You feel what I'm saying? Like, you watch like you do you know why that's dangerous, dangerous because you know a lot of people got ghost pages. And right. That's something that I'm implementing. You know. I don't let y'all know what project that is. I don't know. <laughs> but a lot of people got ghost pages. You'll see them with either the face off or you see them as chicks. They ghost pages. Like it ain't nothing to take a female profile. Boom. Yeah, it it's is. a dude. Dudes <laughs> just be following dudes and checking them out and watching them. Um just to be news, but in our line of work you can be private. They tell you that that's industry rule number right. one because everybody can't see your stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and especially the big ones in the, um, the industry, they won't follow you because, like, why, why they don't tell you why, 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 why you your page is not open? Like, right. what are you doing? So now, Antenna's going up. What are you doing? You're in the streets, you, you know, you're negative, and you, you know. So it's like, it's a different curse, man. Yeah. And not the They could be the police, anybody could be watching you. And nine times out of ten, like I said, now is no more. Here, take my business card. They straight, they straight go to what's your, what's your IG? Yeah. Let me check you out. And if you don't have that page open where it's accessible to them at that point in time, you might they, they chalk, you chalk. They're not gonna, they're not even gonna, you know, yeah. look for you anymore. You know what I'm saying? My page is not open. <laughs> so, and don't, don't get me wrong. Some people that, that keep their page private, it still works for them. I've seen people with 20,000, 30,000, and it's still private. I, you know, but I'm like, dang. I just gotta leave my job open. Just accessible because I'm trying to climb. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it's like like you said, it's, I, I don't know. Like it's, it's, After this thing drop, you can close it private. They yeah, still gonna be checking. Nah, I ain't gonna so, be open. Now you go. Now you're a public figure. <laughs> Favorite movie, why? Favorite movie? I have a couple, but if I have to, you know, pick one, dang, you hit you, you got it. I'm gonna go with school days. Okay. I'm gonna go with school days for you know, just on the purpose of the message it was sending, you know what I'm saying, and I'm Greek, you know what I'm saying, so. Cody, favorite movie, why? Uh, Dead President. That's one of my shows, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dead President, man. Because I'm, I'm a big Lorenz I meant to mention him earlier. Um, but just, just the acting that was A1. Yeah, I want to that. That, that, that roller coaster, that, 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 that's the class. I could watch that every day. I used to. Yeah, yeah, and I just I love projects that's timeless, mm -hmm. like projects that you just can watch year after year and it just never gets old. So that's one of them. Mr. Ryder, favorite movie? <laughs> um, it'd be hard, man. But um, Scarface, man. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. and it never really had nothing to do with the the drug, you know, kingpin, the rise of the kingpin um, aspect of it. It was just, he was an underdog. He come from the gutter, man. He come from nothing, man. Mm -hmm. and, came, and then climbed to the top of the world. Mm -hmm. So that address right there always stuck stuck with me and inspired me 
that no matter what, you know, um, you can come from nothing and, and, you, and you can, you can, you know, you be on top of the world. Every time when you when I see that the water show blump in the air and that music mm -hmm. playing thing song I'm looking, it gives you chill. I know it gives everybody else the chills. Yeah. That scene right there, and he looking, and he see the blend into the world of shows. Yeah. That's what I knew. I knew the world of dream chick was laying in the bed. <laughs> He's filthy rich. Filthy rich, really right? He's living in Miami, right? And the blend where I'm about. I ain't gonna lie, Scarface, crazy, right? Yeah, Scarface is my favorite movie too of all time. But I think it's my favorite movie for like, uh, I guess it was like innovative. Like some of y'all might not be old enough to remember, but like when Scarface first came on HBO, right? Mm -hmm. It was like a pause in between the movies. Mm -hmm. Like it was what, like the animations? Yeah. Okay. Like it was like the first movie came on and mm -hmm. it was like a 20 minute pause and then the second movie came on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so like when, back in the day when we had Scarface, it was too it was two tapes. It wasn't one yeah, tape, right, it was two yeah, tapes. Right. And um, like that was like the first time like somebody had really had like a full, crazy, full length, two hour, two and a half hour movie. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's like the norm now. But Scarface in like 83 is the set the tone for that. You know what I'm saying? And I just I just always liked that movie. Like it was a, it was a great movie. I like the cinematography behind it. The script was cool. The acting was good. Except for uh, Manolo. <laughs> Stop, yo. Now, that's what I said. Those, I, man, so I mean, <laughs> those type of, um, yeah, that's not the, the moral integrity, you know what I mean? But a lot of stuff I didn't agree with, but yeah, that's the what I'm Scarface? He had a dead time. I didn't agree with everything in Scarface. No. Hold on. What was you about? What you about? What the fuck are you doing? Get that back for me. Let's go. So, he ain't ready. You know what I'm saying? He ain't ready. He's like, I'm ready to get out of the ring. No. I'm trying to get out of the ring. 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 Y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all good. We definitely want to thank y'all for coming through. You know what I mean? It's definitely great learning about the show, man. Definitely wish y'all all success. Definitely Appreciate open that. door policy. So even when this is done, and you got a premiere or something, come through. Come through the radio show, promote it. You know what I mean? Come back on here and talk. Get ready for season two, whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? Not true, uh, Charles. You've been here too many times. Fuck that. It's open door policy. You know what I mean? We're going to put him off the show. There you go. <laughs> this will be so on so a professional pro show. <laughs> and uh um, gonna be dirty again, huh? I don't even know you boy. And uh um, so shout out, you know, shout out to our social media handles and I mean let everybody know how they can follow you, how they can support you. And you know, if you got a date when that when the when the show drops and everybody can get ready to tune in, I mean let the world know what we're doing. You know what I mean? Okay. How y'all doing? Charles Harris. My Instagram is actor underscore Charles Harris. Facebook Chuck Harris. What's up, everybody? I'm on Instagram, I am Cody and Carter. Facebook, Cody and Carter. Uh, look out for Pro. Uh, look out for my movie coming out later on all streaming platforms as well. Um, last Shot. And later this year, I'm dropping my debut book, My Last Shot. So just continue to follow me. Um, and on YouTube, just type in Cody and Carter, and all my stuff will pop up. So just keep following me and look out for me. Okay. Yeah. What's going on? It's your boy Tez, the writer. You know, you can follow me on the brand with T E Z underscore T H E writer. Um, you can also follow me on the probe, uh, dot TV series on the brand, Facebook. Uh, you know, the probe is coming, man. This is the greatest Philadelphia story I've ever told, man. And I'm standing on I said it. Uh, you know, it's just, it's. It's something that, that, that's never been done before. Um, it's groundbreaking, and y'all gonna love it. You know, it's non-stop twists and turns. You know, um, it's, 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 it's amazing, man. You know, um, we got an amazing cast, amazing crew behind us. You know, um, shout out to um, all our actors. Um, Neil Carr, you know, um, <clears throat> Clifton Powell, Trey Chaney, J.D. Williams, Jasmine Burke, um, Anthony Grasso. Rachel, Ava, Nakia Dillon, Miss um, Cat, uh, 215, Miss Cat 55, um, Dennis White, uh, 
Oh, yeah. Director, <laughs> Dennis Hammond, producer. Oh, my bad, he will give me for that. <laughs> Director, Derek Hammond, <laughs> Dennis Hammond, <Yeah. laughs> Dennis White, um, producer, uh, James Hunter, uh, casting director, Liam Bossy, uh, uh, anybody else? Love Lou, man, there's so many people out there. Um, yeah. I want to thank, you know what I mean, the solo and professional um, crew and for the show. Appreciate it. Yeah. Day to day thing, you know what I mean? Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. going to be coming back Please. ASAP. The group is coming Please. out ASAP. Um, and I'm in exactly. season two. Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, either way, I just want tickets to the front row to prepare so I can look <laughs> like somebody. Oh, shout out to the city of Philadelphia, the film office, Sharon Pinkston, yeah. um, Amir Smith. Shout out to Nicole, uh, John Brussel. We appreciate y'all. Thanks for having us in the city. Thanks for um, allowing us to, to shoot. Shout out to the Philadelphia Police Department as well, who held us down. Did we shoot um, shot the man? I don't think. We gotta cut that out. And then we'll shout out to the police. Uh, we shot the uh, police. What the fuck is that? Good thing you didn't start off with that. <laughs> 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 no. Shout out. We let it. Shout out to so all the IOs. Hey, I five. Yeah, shout, shout out to campus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so yeah, yeah. We'd like to thank all our special guests for coming out tonight. Uh, shout out to the Pro Show coming soon. Um, Charles Harris, Taz the writer, Cody. Look out for them coming soon, man. And uh, keep supporting the Summer Professional Show. Peace. 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 Peace.